Hi everyone, in this chapter we are going to update this Likr code list view. In previous chapters we upgraded the dashboard view and in this chapter we need to improve the look of this Likr codes list view. What we are going to implement in this chapter is a look like uh, is a look like this one. So if you look at the Play Store, you can see that uh, uh, each of the list items are cards by themselves. We don't have image or this star selection uh, points or anything. But uh, what we need to do is to uh, create cards for each for each of these codes and show them inside their cards. So it will look that much better. So in order to create that one, we definitely have to create a custom ID adapter and we have to design the card also so if you look at this image you can see that each card itself each item itself is a card so let us first design the item for this list so you can add a new uh, you can create a new layout in the resource layout section and I am going to create a new layout resource file and I am going to name it as like record item Okay, now we got the uh, XML file and we have to, we need one another layout here. I'm going to name this as a frame layout. And within the frame layout, I'm going to create a card view. Okay, so we have a card view right now. And within the card view, I'm going to add a text view. So match parent. Match parent, we have to fill the card view, uh, fill the text field within the card view, and here we obviously have to give a text, and the text will be the actual code. So, for just uh, uh, testing, let me add some general text. So, I'm going to name uh, give the string app name here. This is just for testing, and we have to set the uh, gravity. To make the string at the center of the screen so center okay then we have to give a text color and I am going to give the text color as pure black so that will be 0 0 0 and I need to give a text size and I am going to give it as 16 sp okay now so far it looks good and uh, there is one problem here we cannot have height filling because uh, in a list view we need to show only fixed size items I mean we, we don't want this item itself to contain this whole screen so instead of using this uh, high tag to match pad we have to use wrap content here also we have to use wrap content here also we have to use wrap content so you can see that this layout has been reduced to this much height the height is actually required and this looks bad also because this is too this is too I mean uh, there is no space for this text view so i'm going to give a standard 60 dp height for that card and here we have to use use compact padding method so use compact padding equal to true so uh, the, uh, so the android framework will add a required spacing between the cards all right it seems uh, good enough and let's start coding the custom ID adapter so now we have this custom list item that we want for each code the next thing that we have to do is to use a custom ID adapter so here we use the Android's default ID adapter what we need right now is a custom adapter so I'm going to create another package and let us name it as adapter and here I am going to create one class let, let us name it as like code list adapter so it is going to be a list adapter and as you would expect we will have to extend this array adapter because we are extending the functionality of an array adapter class so here i am going to add extends array adapter then we have to provide the type of the array adapter we are going to create so it is going to be of code type fine now we, uh, we need to create a matching so it has a number of constructors for and we have to use the view uh, we have to use one of this so i'm going to use this one and i think there is a problem with the import so i i can now we have to write the constructor here so i'm going to create a public constructor prior 
public like record list character and we have to receive a context object so you might remember we have used activity and context before for multiple purposes like opening an asset etc so here also we need context we also need the list of codes the list of like records that we want to show to the user so i'm going to name it as code list so we will receive these two things and we have to call the super method so if you look at this we have used this constructor and passed in this context and the layout and the, the id of the text object etc etc so here what we are going to use we are going to use a simple constructor that will take a context so it will first take context and you can see that it expect a resource so right now we have created a custom view layout for our list view item previously we were using android's default one which is android dot simple layout this one this was the default one we have used so here i am going to pass zero because we are not allowing android framework to uh, do the layout inflation which we will have to do by ourselves in a uh, in a second so let, let us just pass it as zero and here we have to pass the code list okay now we have to operate one method which is the get view method so what this will do is this will uh, this method will create a uh, inflate a layout which which is this one for each of the code and return it so we have to do that here there is a problem with my import android x annotation so let me just remove this non null imports okay now we have to do the actual work of creating this card here so the first thing we have to do is to get the current code object so that can be done using code code equals get item and we have the position here as the position value so get code so remember this thing this get new method will be called for every code that is the in the list so if by example if you look at this 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 method will be called for three times first with this code second with this code and third with this code so if there are n items in the list view this get view will be called at minimum n, n times okay then one thing we have to check is if the convert view equals null so this is a little bit complicated idea what it is what actually happening is um, in order to save some memory for example let's say there are 100 items in the list view so we will be showing like maximum 10 items at a time when we scroll and what will take the top item and give it back for saving memory because inflating a ui element from an xml is a costly operation so that's why we are doing this so i'm going to if convert view is equal to null which is going to be null if uh, it is not uh, if that is a not a reuse from the memory so you might ask why we have given the context that is because we need the context for this layout inflator so layout from then we have to give the context and then we have to inflate this layout so the layout that we have we have to inflate is this one so i'm going to pass it r dot layout dot like record item okay then we also have to pass some more items so let's pass this parameter and the last thing it will take is attached to food so i'm going to give it as false there is no need to attach to hook. now what is happening is we got an object of this xml element so what we have to do right now is to access this text view so in order to access this text view from the program we have to give it an id so i'm going to name it as like code list item and it is going to be a tf code text field code so i'm going to give a unique id here then i can access that text view from this code just like this so text view text view equals and previously we were use, using just find by id currently uh, this is not a uh, this this is not an activity so you can't just use find view by id instead you have to use convert view dot 
find u by id and give it like this so what what is happening here is we are inflating this entire view into this convert view variable and from that variable we are going to search for this df code item and getting that text view and now we have to set the text view text using set view dot set text and which can be done using like this code dot get code so this is what is happening we are getting the code from the code object and setting it in the text view now we can simply return the text view using uh, return the view using return convert view so that's it only very less number of codes but this is going to make the list view look much much better trust me okay so we have this one uh, get view is fine so we are returning so that is completed the custom array adapter is completed right now now we have to go back to this live spot activity and instead of using a, a an array adapter let us use our newly created adapter okay so the newly created adapter name is new like record list adapter and it will take two parameters first one is context since this is an activity we can just pass this variable and we need the list of codes and i am going to pass like records list okay there are two news okay that is gone and uh, as you can see this is uh, java inheritance mechanism you can assign a child to its parent object so in order to remove the confusion let me just use it like this okay now let us run the program and see how it is working so in order to summarize what we have done is we have created a custom layout for each integer list item we have created a custom array adapter then we inflated that view for each item we set the code and we have attached the newly created adapter to the list view and when i go to the view like records you can see that we got a nice looking list view now we can make this look much better in order to do that we have to change this xml file so the first problem is uh, aligning at the center is not at all a good idea for so we have to align it to the start itself so gravity start will set but right now we have a problem it is going to the top center we need to align it vertically so you can use it like this center vertical so it is in vertical axis in y axis it is center but in x axis it is not center then we need to we need have to have some extra padding there so i'm going to add a padding of 20 dp so uh, i'm sorry it is going to be margin so i'm going to add a 20 dp margin we also have to provide a padding in order to reduce the distance between the edge of the card view and the text so i'm going to give a padding start to 10 dp so the text view will go a little bit away from the edge and uh, that is a symmetry property so you can just use this rtl combat you know the, the problem right now is uh, that we are providing padding start but not providing padding end so that is a right to left symmetry problem so you know if you want to fix that hint you can provide padding end also so it will be symmetrical if i give padding end to 10 db then that problem is gone and the next thing that i have to do is uh, to remove this margin general margin to margin start end and top that is because if i provide 20 dp then the distance between two consecutives list item will be 40. so uh, we had this problem in previous chapters so i'm not going to explain it all over here then margin end let it be 20 dp then i'm going to set margin top to 10 dp okay so far so good and there will be one problem that is the, the there will be a divider provided by the array adapter in between the list item so as you can see it is looking great but there is a there is a, a significant problem with that adapter uh, that that divider so that can be removed using the following way so we have the list view here and list view dot set divider so we can give a divider here and i'm going to set the divider to null i don't want any divider and i'm going to set the divider height to zero also so there won't be any more divider and we should get this line removed 
and as you can see right now it looks much better we have a nice uh, list with the cards and right now the problem is the padding with the uh, card view so the padding start only the, the padding start alone isn't enough because the top and bottom is too much cramped so we need more padding so padding start is fine then we need padding top and then we just set it as padding top then padding bottom is also needed so when you have a situation like this padding start bottom end and all in all the in all the four ways if the padding is same you can just provide padding equals 10 dp so that is fine <clears throat> and i'm going to increase the height of the card to 100 you know just a little bit extra so this should be enough let us see our list view right now and as you can see now our list view looks much much better let me just select one more code into the library list code added to library list and if i go to the library list view you can see that we got a nice list view and one more thing that we can do to improve the look of the card is to decrease the brightness of the background to something like uh, f0 and 0 and 0 as we have done before as you can see here we have set the background to f0 and 0 and 0 so i'm going to do that here also so activity like the course and this is the view where we have the list so in the parent i'm going to set the background color to f0 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 and if i set that this card should get a much more yeah it looks much more better so that's it guys that's the end of this video we have implemented the custom list view using by extending a uh, by extending an array adapter so see you on the next videos bye